Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. And wow, today is a bombshell of a story. In a crazy turn of events, and yes, this has been a crazy past few days in F1, with Andretti getting declined from joining the F1, and now Lewis Hamilton joining the Ferrari F1 team, shocking the whole world. But why did Lewis decide to leave Mercedes? A team where he has enjoyed incredible success over the years and won six of his seven ball titles. But before we dive into the story, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We would really appreciate it, as it helps us to grow immensely. Hamilton and Mercedes have enjoyed one of the biggest and most successful partnerships in F1 history. From winning back to back constructors' titles, to Hamilton winning six consecutive championships with the team, it truly has been a match made in heaven. But then came 2021, and it all came crashing down for the seven time world champion. Even though the championship was lost in the final round, cracks were starting to appear at the once untouchable Mercedes F1 team. Introduction of rules for 2021 meant the low rake design that had favored Mercedes was no longer its biggest strength. And while Red Bull was getting stronger through each season since its switch from Renault engines to Honda Power, there are still some who blame Mercedes for not adapting the car to the new set of rules. But all wasn't lost as a new era of ground effect cars were being introduced. All eyes were on Mercedes again to pioneer the changes, and it certainly looked like when it introduced its zero port concept. But the reality turned out to be the opposite, and not only having to change its development direction drastically, they had to adapt back to the concept mastered by its fiercest and biggest rival, the Red Bull F1 team. And after two seasons where the team has only shown glimpses of its true potential, that said, Brazil 2021 and Austin last year, the performance of the Mercedes F1 team has been far from satisfactory. For this reason, I believe Lewis decided to take a different approach and give himself the best chance of securing his 8th World Championship title, and what better way than a move to the legendary Ferrari F1 team. Apart from the fact that it's the most prestigious F1 team on the grid, with incredible history and rich heritage, Ferrari has seen a resurgence under the leadership of its new team principal, Fred Vassil, who actually worked with Lewis in his junior years, but also kept a strong relationship with. Ferrari has also been poaching several key figures from rival teams, such as Loic Serra from Mercedes, who was the head of performance, and reports suggest that both Serra and Hamilton were aligned with their concerns about the zero port concept of the 2022 car. And finally, with new rules set to be introduced in 2026, Ferrari believed that their power unit, which will need to be run on 100% sustainable fuel, could be the best of the best. Well, as you can imagine, the silly season has truly begun early. With several drivers finishing their contracts at the end of the season, there are some exciting prospects to look ahead. But we see Fernando joining the Silver Arrows, or maybe Albon, perhaps a such a route with Carlos jumping over to Mercedes. The possibilities are endless. Another aspect of this shocking event is why an announcement was made even before the start of the season. Was this the doing of the F1, leaning over to the friends of Ferrari to announce it? So it could take the light away from the other big story of this week, which was Andretti and Cadillac being denied an entry to F1, which caused a stormy reaction from all over the world. Questions are also being raised as to how bad the W15 could be, that Lewis couldn't even wait for the testing to begin before deciding on his future with the F1 team. Even though early signs were pointing to W15 being the best of the rest in terms of speed and performance, only time will tell. Whether or not you're a Ferrari or Lewis fan, the prospect of a seven-time world champion and possibly the best driver of this century joining the legendary Ferrari team while partnering up 
with another great talent, Charlotte Claire. Ferrari now comfortably boasts the best driver lineup on the F1 grid, and possibly the end to its 16 year drought of not winning an F1 title. What are your thoughts? Are you excited about this change? Or do you think this would end badly for Lewis? Leave your thoughts below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.